Okay, good morning. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a rope perch or a bowing. Um, since I have no need for a rope perch, I'm going to make, uh, or I mean a bowing, I'm going to make a rope perch, but it can be easily converted to a bowing. Um, what I have here is a top me rope. Uh, this used to be uh, one of the horse leads, 100% um, cotton twisted, came in white, um, which is what I have here. So what you want to do, because it comes with this big giant clip on the end, and the ends are weaved, and I don't want that, is I take some stainless steel wire, use some noise, the birds are excited. I go up around there like this. This is so when I cut the ends off that the um, little threads don't just fray and my whole rope unwinds. So I want to hold it shut and that's what the wire will do. And it just helps prevent fraying. And I just twist it around with my pliers like so. Just to hold it in place. And then I cut my twist so I don't have this big thing hanging off of it like that. And then, just because I don't want the sharp end poking anybody, I bend it up and away. And then, because now it won't untwist on me, I am going to cut this. And oh, by the way, these horse leads are about um, 10 feet long. So I have not decided yet if I want to use all 10 feet or if I'm going to just use a shorter length. But see, now I have this end. <laughs> And then, because I want to make one of those perches with the wire down the middle, so you can just, you know, bend them every which way. I think they're called zigzag perches or something like that. I have thicker stainless steel wire. This is a little more bendable. Um, this is kind of appropriate more for, like, my cockatiels and um, parallax. Maybe my um, kayak will fit in there. What I want to do is take this wire and just thread it up into that middle there until it comes out at me. And I did twist this really tight. There it goes. And then, because I want this uh, wire in the middle so the birds don't chew on it, gotta get a little bit of length on there. What I do is I take this rope and I kind of put my wire, let me see if I can show this, wire in these crevices and just kind of wrap the rope around my wire. And this will kind of naturally push the wire down into the center of the rope. Easy peasy. And then as I need more, I unwind my wire, and I'll do the length of the rope. And it goes relatively fast once you get the hang of this. And when your birds are not in your way, because they want to participate in the toy making. Yeah, that's Wasabi. He's, he's very excited. And you just keep twisting it around and around and around. See how it looks very nice, you can't see that wire, and yet, hey, you can make this rope bend whichever way you want. Which is what I, it's kind of what I like about this. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Like I said, this is a 10 foot lead um, cotton rope. Uh, so it's going to take me a little bit to get it all done, but let's keep wrapping. Um, like I said, I used a horse lead because that's the only thing I could find in this in long length. Otherwise, what I've, I've also done is gotten the dog rope toys. Unknot at the knots and use those, and those work. Oh, that was Wasabi who just bit me. That was very bad of him because apparently he doesn't like what I'm doing. But yep, you can hear him chattering in the background. Naughty bird. Hopefully, I have enough. It looks like I'm running towards the end of my wire here, but I should have 10 feet. I guess I gotta reorder my wire. And there's that naughty bird who bit me. For some reason, he's very excited about this rope toy. Apparently, he's already claimed it as his. Gotta be careful. See that wire showing? I didn't bury that right. So, because I'm trying to avoid getting bit by wasabi again. But keep wrapping, and then you can, you know, just make sure it gets buried as you go along. And I'm actually gonna 
with Abby, who is so rubbed up right now that he is going to bite me again if I try to ask him to step up. And there he goes. But yeah, keep going. Basically down the length of the wire. I'm going to finish it in a second, but I'll show you what to do with the rest. So I have this end right here. Um, because this cotton rope is only, um, I think this is only like at most three quarters, maybe half an inch at most um, in diameter. Um, the PVC caps won't fit over the end because the PVC caps are too big. Instead, I got these little wood pots in the craft section with a hole already drilled in. Um, so what I did was I took a machine screw, stainless steel too, and I screwed it into the pot so that it sticks out to the end. And then you got your washers and your uh, wing nut. And this, then what you can do is either if you want a, um, a bowing, so you want a loop on the top. If you want to do a bowing, all you have to do is put this through the hole like so until it's capped like this. And then you can just do a loop on top. Or if you have a bigger rope, because um, I did it with a one inch rope, I did it with a, P a three quarters inch PVC cap. I bent it around and pulled, uh, drilled a second hole and um, put my wire through that second hole so I had a loop and it covered the end, the little sharp end. Otherwise, this will do just fine if you just bend it into a nice loop, too. Like so. And then it can hang, and then you can bend this into a bowing shape. Like so. See how nice that is? But like I said, I am going to do a perch instead. Um, I, I don't need, have a need for a bowing. All my birds already have one. So the difference sometimes is um, all this frayed end sometimes gets in the way. The good thing about these pots is they're deep, so it covers the frayed end. But like with the PVC cap, um, when you kind of shove that over, these frayed ends come out and then you get all these little strings out and about. So you can just take a little bit of tape, and this is what sometimes I'll do. Just take a little piece of tape, it's masking tape. You can do whatever tape you want. Um, not 100% bird safe, but it, it'll be covered up, so I don't worry about it. Um, I just cover that little end up, like so. That way, when your pot goes over, the frayed ends don't come shooting back out at you. And in this situation, because I am making, um, <laughs> excuse me, a perch more, I am going to actually cut this flush to my rope. I'm going to super glue it in. Um, I don't think there's any other way I can get that in there appropriately. Um, I am going to see if I can, because this screw screws right in, that I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. Let's see if I can get my wire to attach to it. Um, I think it's a little too tight and I won't be able to do it. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to spend my wire. Yeah, I think it's not going to work. So I think it's going to be just super glued in there. But yeah, see how that goes right in? Uh, not super glued, hot glue, I'm sorry. Hot glued in there. And then I would have my washers to hold it on. And then my winged nuts. All stainless steel. I love stainless steel. And again, see how nice it bends now? But yeah, I gotta...